Hello everyone and welcome to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be talking about the difference between the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 and the GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. Both of these cards have the same name, but they're quite different. So I'm going to talk about that in this video. But before we get on into it, I want to remind you about my video up there at the eye that shows you how to get graphics cards cheap in 2018. GPU prices, as we all know, are freaking crazy right now. And you can check out the eye up there as well as in the description down below and see how to get those cheap links. It's an awesome video video and uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. Also be sure to subscribe to this channel and like the video for more awesome content exactly like this every single freaking day. We post every day here and we try to make it as high quality as possible so you won't regret subscribing. Nevertheless though, what is the difference between the 1080 and the 1080 Ti? Well Nvidia is boasting a 30% performance increase from the 1080 to the 1080 Ti. But how is that possible? I mean they're the same card name, right? They've got to be like on the same general platform. Well, they are. They're both on the Pascal architecture, and that's about it. There's a lot of differences here, so let's go ahead and jump on into it, starting off with the VRAM. The 1080 just has 8 gigabytes of GDDR5 VRAM, whereas the 1080 Ti has 11 gigabytes of GDDR5 VRAM. This is a big deal, especially when you consider that the 1080 Ti's RAM is also running at a little bit of a faster speed. More RAM plus faster speed means better video editing. It means better live streaming. It means better video encoding. Adobe Premiere, live streaming via OBS, XSplit, those are very, very, very GPU intensive task and they love to eat VRAM. That's where having 11 gigabytes of it can really come in handy. The more VRAM also will allow you to absolutely destroy any and all games at max settings. I mean, there is not a game out there that you cannot play at max settings with an Intel i7 say 7700K and a GTX 1080 Ti. Those two together, you're going to be able to kill any game you want at max settings with Without any issues. Something else that's different between these two cards is speed. As I said earlier in the video, Nvidia is boasting a 30 to 35 percent speed increase from the GTX 1080 to the GTX 1080 Ti. In actual benchmarks though, you're seeing about a 25 to 30 percent increase in base clock speeds. However, if you overclock the graphics cards, you're looking at about 35 percent worth of improvement, which is pretty freaking crazy if you ask me over just one generation of car. Faster overall speed generally means a card is going to last longer for you, meaning it's going to be able to exist longer, right? I still have two 980 Ti's from two and a half years ago in my system and they work perfectly fine. And that's because just like the 1080 Ti, they had a measurable 30-ish percent boost over the general 980. And this boost has allowed them to still crush any and all games I throw at them. That's what you can expect out of the GTX 1080 Ti as well. You're going to be future-proofed for a heck of a lot longer than a normal 1080. It wouldn't surprise me with DPU prices being so high right now, developers kind of saying, okay, what's out there right now is what we need to develop for. And because of that, this card honestly might last you five years, which is absolutely insane for a graphics card. I'm not making any promises there, but that's kind of where I see it going right now. Additionally, going back to that VRAM, the 11 gigabytes of VRAM on the 1080 Ti is going to future-proof you on games for a very, very long time. GT GTA 5, the most I've ever been able to pump out of that thing VRAM wise is 8 gigabytes, which is a ton. It comfortably runs on ultra high, usually around 6 though, so you're good. With 11 gigabytes, you are absolutely great as far as VRAM goes. Something else that is a big, big improvement on the GTX 1080 Ti over the 1080 is the CUDA cores, or CUDA cores, depending on how you say it. I say CUDA, you might say CUDA, really doesn't make a difference in my opinion, but the GTX 1080 has 2,500 and 26 CUDA cores, while the GTX 1080 Ti has 3,585 CUDA cores at over 1 thousand CUDA core improvement from the GTX 1080 to the GTX 1080 Ti. Absolutely freaking insane, guys. That is huge for video editing. It's huge for graphic intensive games. It's huge for just overall graphics improvements. From my experience, the more CUDA cores you have, the better experience you have with a graphics card. Especially now where you can't run SLI, and honestly, SLI is kind of pointless these days. Might do a video on that later. But nevertheless, the more CUDA cores you have, the more there is there for the graphics card to be able to take advantage of, be able to use when editing, gaming, video exporting, all of that awesome stuff. Now 
Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, these are both based on Pascal, and they have the same name, and that's probably why you landed on this video. You're like, what's the difference between these two cars? One's a little cheaper. Should I swing for the more expensive 1080 Ti? And in my opinion, as someone who owns and has always owned Ti graphics cards from the NVIDIA lineup, I think that jump from the 1080 to the 1080 Ti is worth it, just like it was with the 980, and just like it was before that with the 760. It's always, always, always been worth taking that jump up to the next level because you're getting a lot better performance without much of a value increase. So if you decide to buy a GTX 1080 or a GTX 1080 Ti, Amazon is a great place to do it. You can check that out down below in the description. Links to both the 1080 and the 1080 Ti. Also, if you've got any questions, post those in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to answer them. I try my best to respond to every single comment we get. Also, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome PC tech gaming content. It's incredible. We post here every single freaking day. Check out the videos that are on your screen right now and again, subscribe to the channel. I'm Nick. I hope you guys enjoyed. This has been The Breakdown and I am out guys. Peace.